A break in at a funeral home here in Lubbock has left them with one less limousine. Grace Funeral Care of West Texas has been in Lubbock for about three years. However, they've only been at their newest location right off the interstate for just two months. KLBK's Landry Senna is live now where thankfully the limousine was located earlier this afternoon. Landry, what all happened? Terry, I'm outside of Fisher Auto and Glass here on Wayne Avenue. Whoever decided to steal this limo left it here with the owner. And back at Grace Funeral there off of the interstate, we're told the break-in happened Wednesday morning just as staff were walking into work. But what they didn't know was the criminal was still there. When she arrived, her um, she noticed that one of our vehicles, which is our van um, that we use to transport loved ones in, um, was awkwardly or oddly placed in the parking lot. President of Grace Funeral Care Devontae Gaines says his executive assistant then discovered the van doors were open, wires had been messed with, and the floorboard was pulled up. When she went to get the keys for the van, she realized that all of our keys for all of our vehicles um, were also um, not there. All of the vehicle's alarms started to go off. At that point, we realized that there's someone was in the building. He says after speaking with police, his assistant saw in the corner of her eye. Our limo was being driven off the parking lot by an individual um, that was not a part of our staff. They did attempt to uh, chase the vehicle, um, but obviously it wasn't successful. Not only did the criminal take off with some of their fleet, but the inside of their facility, which Grace just moved into about two months ago, was ransacked. This is the first occurrence for us um, to have someone break into our facility, um, ramshack through our things, and, and, and take a vehicle. And while the neighborhood has gotten somewhat safer in recent years, Gaines believes that the two nearby hotels have brought in folks with bad intentions. The area has gotten better um, here off the interstate um, with, you know, Lowry Field being to the back of us, several churches, but there's some things that they, they're working on. Thank God yesterday none of my staff or families were injured. And while the limo has been found, Grace still doesn't know who's responsible for all of this, but Lubbock police are investigating. Reporting from South Lubbock, Landry Senna, Matt and Terry back to you in the studio. Landry, thank you very much.